So I did put out a vote uh, on YouTube last night and this was a winner. This was the, uh, I asked which one I should do first and obviously this was the one. Maybe because people who saw my post have mostly seen Chicken Tikka Masala one uh, video because that's what I've mostly seen. Chicken Tikka Masala was the main video I've seen going up and down on TikTok and YouTube. Well, I'm bad at chicks views. So if you have been across most things on YouTube and TikTok already, you will have seen Iceland are doing this. There is two little microwave meals they've got. They've got a chicken tikka masala and they've got this, the chili mac and cheese. So um, they are made in collaboration with Smoking Ed. Uh, for those of you who don't know Smoking Ed is, he is the guy who created the, um, what's it chocolate here from my last video? That I did before this, not like from like a week ago in film, not. I'm not a tramp. Um, I've uh, lost my train of thought now um, by that little piece of chocolate. Um, the can wasn't on, I'll probably pick up an eat it, but I'm not going to. Um, yes, he, uh, the Carolina Reaper is one of his creations. Um, I think you know, Apollo Chili might have been his creation as well. And obviously now Pepper X, which is Guinness Book of Records certified hottest chili in the world. So I've had some Smoking Ed's products before. I've had the um, taco sauce, I did a video for that. Bang, link up there if you choose to wish to watch that. Um, so yes, this has been made with Pepper X. Now, much like the sauce I had, I don't think this is gonna be as hot as expected. Um, I've seen people online do these. Um, in fact, I watched a video today of uh, David Gom. Go check out his, he, seem to get through it quite easy, but then I've seen some of the people who have like really like buckled or struggled, but how high is their tolerance? We don't know. My tolerance is pretty good. Um, this is <laughs> Million Scoville, well the Pepper X is, um, which is something that I have done, I've tripled that with something I've had before with the, with the lollipop, I did 9 million Scoville. So, you know, um, but, I could, this this I can imagine is not going to be that much Scoville in there. I think it'd be watered down a little bit. Um, I have heard other people talk about the bits and bobs in there, but let me just get to it. Uh, made from the hottest peppers in the world, Pepper X. This product will definitely be a challenge, even to the boldest chili lovers. Whilst this product salutes the land of extra hot and spicy, we also care for your safety with the below advice. Proceed with caution. This product may not be suitable for people who are sensitive to spicy foods, peppers, or capsaicin. Keep this product out of reach. You have to have to be 18 to buy this. I think it's the first time I've ever seen food with uh, 18 on it and you're gonna need ID for. Um, obviously my old ass didn't need any ID. Um, how much actual pepper is in here? Or me also. I'm hoping this is good by the way, because this is actually my dinner tonight. So if this is crap, I'm gonna be pissed off. I'm gonna have to make something else to eat, but hopefully it's good. Uh, so Pepper X, it's only 1%, so I see what I mean, it's quite low. It's only 1%, so I see what I mean, it's quite low. So I don't, imagine this is going to be very as hot as you think it's going to be unless you are not really big on spice so smoked paprika and some chipotle is, is some other heat that's going on in here oh, anyway right so i've heated up it's already done as you saw whacked in the microwave here is said dish. I'm hoping it's cooled down in temperature now because you know what, fucking, you know it's like it's been in the microwave, it turns like nuclear. You'll be eating around the edges, you'll be fine, you'll get to a bit in the middle and you literally feel like someone's just shoved a hot poker in your mouth. It smells pretty good. It smells quite cheesy, good bit of beef smell. Is it a temperature that's worth eating? actually pretty tasty. It's got a nice flavour. Well, it comes with spice now. Mm. 
So that's a nice level of spice. I can tell that the more I go, the more it's going to build, which happens with a lot of a lot of spicy stuff. Um, I'm getting a more of a at the moment. I'm getting more of a tongue back of the throat spice, not so much on my cheeks or anything at the moment. As a meal, as a, you know, it's a microwave meal at the end of the day, you know, I'm not expecting bloody gourmet shit going on here, but that's a microwave meal. It's pretty decent. I kind of hope so. It's what Iceland are made for. They make a microwave meal, so it's, it's Iceland, it's, it's full of freezers. So uh, you're kind of hoping they're gonna be a fairly decent microwave dish. But yeah, you're not gonna send the kind of thing you do for a, to impress your woman, that's for sure. Especially if you don't like spice, they spend the whole time on the toilet. But anyway. Mm. Nice amount of cheese. I like the cheese in there. I like mac and cheese anyway, mac and cheese is like one of my faves. As I expected, but it's not as blow your head off as I thought. It, um, as a, yeah, it wasn't as blow your head off as it should be, should I say. I thought it'd be like this. This is pretty much what I expected, to be fair. Just judging by other people eating it who are, who like hot things. It has got a nice spice. I can feel it, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not like, it is spicy, but it's at a, it's at a level of spice that I'm comfortable with and I can still enjoy. I'm not, it's not taking away all the flavor so that when I'm eating it, it's just basically just a mouthful of heat. This is actually keeping its flavor. I can taste the cheese, I can taste the beef. Taste the smokiness of blood. Mm. All in all, it's a good dish. I, I quite like it. And hopefully, the uh, chicken tikka masala is just as good. But I'll um, I'll probably eat that on the weekend, and that'll be I'll bring that as a video next week. I think. Well, right then, I'll leave that there. I don't think you literally want to sit here for the next ten minutes and watch me eat. And I'd quite like to eat it in peace and enjoy it rather than uh, having to keep talking in front of the camera. So yeah, if you're into spicy things, I would recommend this. This is not a bad dish to be fair. It's pretty tasty, quick easy microwave meal. Can't complain. Uh, Bosch and all that shit. Bosch and the sugar is, do I have to say Bosch every single time? Yeah, recap, still taste of the flavor. It is a good amount of spice. If you can handle your spice, you will enjoy this and you'll be fine with it. If you can't handle your spice, this will be a good challenge for you and your friends for a good laugh. And um, it will also help keeping the people who make toilet rolls in a good amount of money. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you on another Jigs Reviews. Maybe even part two with the Chikatig Masala. I shall see you there. Stay spicy. I'll catch you next time.